All right, so this is our BioLite stove after cleanup. I just took a uh, paper towel to the plastic parts of this, and I took a steel wool scrubby uh, to the uh, part that makes electricity. Uh, this gets really uh, sooty. Um, so, I mean, you don't have to do this every time, but I would suggest uh, if you want to keep the electricity making efficient, uh, either hit it with a maybe a wire brush. I'm not sure. I have to check their website to see if that's okay. Um, or at least scrub it off with a steel wool. Get some of the soot off that builds up. Um, that's the inside. All we ended up with was a few ashes. We dumped those out. And obviously not going to clean that out. Um, but uh, I used the pot. Made some ramen noodles. Boiled water more than once um, ended up making a coffee in the pot here at one point firing up some hash browns well warming up the pan to fire up the hash browns this is very unstable on the top here cold so don't knock the pan We got some Hungry Jack, uh, serves a family of seven. We got five, well, technically we got seven if you wanna include grandma and grandpa. So we'll find out. I had my two uh, young sons helping, so, um, you know, that doesn't always make things uh, more efficient and it doesn't always help, if you know what I mean. But, okay, um, we did start out with a uh, full battery and uh, we charged an iPad. It charged slowly, but we were able to charge an iPad. Um, and the uh, battery is still full after a few uh, after a few uh, fires. So it never actually went down. So it was pretty neat. It's very light, and if you were going to go camping on a hike somewhere. This could be helpful, although it does take a while for everything to cool down, so it's not something you're going to be able to fire up real fast, um, make something, boil some water maybe if you didn't have any safe drinking water, and then uh, pack right back up. Uh, you are going to have to give it some time to cool down, but uh, alright, that's about it.